Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another Christmas ugly sweater planning vlog. I'm not sure if this will go into, this is the day before the party. Depending on how much footage I get today, I'll break it up, you know, the day of the party and the setup to another one, or this will be included in this. I just have to see how the day goes. Um, it was originally hair washing day, but I want to extend that till tomorrow. So I just threw my hair up just to, you know, make it last one more day. Uh, I have a ton of errands to do today. I have to go to Sam's Club. I have to stop at the grocery store. Um, I definitely will have to get an ugly sweater. That's a big one because I am the hostess and I don't even have an ugly sweater yet. I have to get that. Um, yeah, just a lot of little errands to do. I'll share all that with you or what I end up picking up for the party, like decor wise, food wise. Um, I think there's gonna be a ton of food because you know, everybody's bringing like an appetizer and stuff. So I'm making three or four different appetizers. Well, I say making, most of them I'm ordering and picking up. But yeah, so I think there's gonna be a ton of food. I wanna get the whole like drink station area set up. So yeah, come along for this day and let's prepare for our ugly sweater party. So I just got back from, San, actually from all my errands, and that's pretty good. It's like 11.30, which is way earlier than I thought I was gonna be back. So I went to Sam's Club, I went to the grocery store, I ran to Marshall's, and then I ran to BJ's to pick up a couple things. So I just grabbed a few cookies. There is a few other desserts coming, but I just, you know, I'm a little extra. So I grabbed some of this little variety pack and then some chocolate chunk cookies to set out. The flavor bombs, these are so good. But anyways, these are for the little antipasto skewers with the tortellini. Grab those. I grabbed the five cheese tortellini, the big pack from Sam's. Grabbed just some chips to set out also. And then the pesto also goes with the tortellini um, skewers. I'm going, so this is, I picked up other things from Sam's, like as you can see, like toilet paper, paper towels. I picked up other stuff, but this is just what I got specifically for the party. So let me put this away and then I'll show you what else I picked up. So now I picked up, I ran to my local grocery store, picked up a few things. They had this cute little platter. It was like two, two or three dollars and it'll be perfect for either the cookies or the tortellini skewers. So I picked up that. Two bags of baby spinach. That is for the spinach artichoke dip. Cranberries, I am making a sangria. So actually two different, a red wine and a white wine sangria. So that is for that. Um, some basil. I need a pomegranate seeds. That was also for the sangria as well as limes and also just to cut up some for other drinks. Um, Granny Smith apples also for the sangria. And then the baby, the little uh, fresh mozzarella for the tortellini skewers. And I think besides all the other stuff I got, I think that was everything for the party. I had already picked up a lot of the other ingredients the other day and a couple of the dishes I am just uh, picking up that are being made for me. Okay, so I figured I would sit down and do the rest of the haul part with you. Um, so you saw the food and everything. I think I already told you in my last video that went up, if you did not see it, I'll link it up here, what the menu was. Um, but just to give you another quick rundown, I am doing, I ordered chicken tenders. I ordered um, like a big Mediterranean cheese platter, has olives and artichoke hearts and all kinds of different things. I did order that also. Um, I'm making spinach artichoke dip in the crock pot. I'm also making um, the tortellini skewers, so I showed you a lot of the ingredients for that. I'm going to make um, a couple different sangria recipes, plus there will be other drinks for people to choose from. Um, I'm going to, oh, I got some cookies from Sam's. I think I showed you those. Other people are bringing desserts, so there'll be a lot. Um, there will be a lot of food because I have at least probably six or seven other people bringing appetizers. So there's definitely not going to be a shortage of food here. And so, yeah, it should be fun. So the last thing I want to show you, I ran into Party City just because I needed some cups 
and so I'll show you those. So I just wanted to get some cups for like sodas and stuff. So I did get just these gold um, large cups for that. And then for like the sangria and stuff, I mean, I would love to be able to put out my wine glasses, but I don't have 30 wine glasses. So, so I picked up these really pretty ones from Party City. You probably can't tell, but it just says cheers. It's like the harder plastic and it just has the gold polka dots. So I love those. Go say hi. Hi. Say hi, baby girl. Hi. Okay, you're gonna sit right on my lap, huh? Right, there's a camera right here. Oh, jeez. She's literally sitting on my lap. She's literally sitting on my lap. Say hi, everybody. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Yup. I have lip gloss on, so she likes that. Good girl. Can I show my haul? Can I show my haul? Why don't you go lay in your bed so I can do Next, I ran over to Marshall's and just picked up a couple things that I need. Some I needed, some I didn't really need, but they got me. So I wanted to, I want to put a tablecloth on the dining room table just to protect it a little. People will be eating. It's easy to just take it off and wash, shake it out and wash it. So I picked up this really pretty one. Um, it's just, a, I don't know, just has like the red and green stripes. I don't know if it has it all throughout the whole thing or if it is, I don't know. I'm not really sure exactly what the whole thing is gonna look like, but when I have it all set up, I will show you. If it's not in this video, it will be in the next video. But I just picked this up, it was $14.99. They had a decent amount of tablecloths, but I just wanted something basic and red and green, not like too much of a pattern or anything. So I was happy with that. I wanted to put a Christmas rug in front of the sink in the kitchen, but I wanted it to blend with the ruggable rug that I have under the, dine, under the kitchen table. I also have that same ruggable rug in front of the sink, but I just wanted to add a little festive one. It is mostly gray. I'm gonna try to insert a picture here or I'll also be showing you, but, um, it's mostly gray, so I just wanted to have a rug that was festive that I could put in front of the sink that would still blend with that. So I did find this one, and it just has the variation of the different kinds of trees, all in like a gray tone, darker gray, lighter gray. It is a <clears throat> faux cashmere accent rug, 27 inches by 45 inches. It's washable, foldable, foldable, and easy to maintain. So I love that because, you know, rugs are so hard to store. So I didn't want to buy like a ton of Christmas rugs and then have to worry about storing it. But this just like folds up into a nice tight little fold that I can easily slip in my Christmas bins at the end of the season. I can wash it and just fold it and put it away so it'll be ready for the next season. So this was, $19.99. I showed you in the last video the big plates, the bigger plates that I got that had like the scalloped edge. Well, at a different Marshalls, I was able to find the smaller plates that are the same. There is 32 of these. I could not, I wanted one more pack of the bigger ones, but I couldn't find them. So I picked up these because these still work. What I love about these is, I don't know if you could tell, they're like they are a plate, but they're, they're, they're like deep. So if you have food that um, like dips and stuff, it's not gonna just like slide right off your plate. And these are definitely sturdy plates. They were $7.99 for 32 of them. And then I needed some napkins to put by the um, dessert area. So I found these, thought they were really pretty. $3.99 and there is 40 of these. And then I wanted some little napkins to put next to the drinks so you can pour yourself a drink and then grab a napkin if you need one. And I found these little Christmas tree shaped ones. I thought they were really pretty. They're 40 count beverage napkins. They were $3.99. I also mentioned this morning, I did not have an ugly sweater. So I ran to a different Marshalls. I went to one in the last video and there was not a single ugly sweater, ran to this one. They had a few, they didn't have a lot, but I really can't be too picky right now because um, the party's tomorrow and I'm not going back out now. So I found this one and it just has the little dog with the glasses and you know, the sleeves. I think what I liked the most about this one is this is very softer on my neck. I can't stand like itchy 
I don't mind turtlenecks and stuff as long as they're soft, but I can't stand itchy, like cheap sweaters around my neck. So this was only $19.99, but I thought it was cute and ugly at the same time. And to be quite honest, I would wear this just in a video just to make it festive, but it is a ugly sweater. Like I said, that was $19.99. That was everything that I picked up today for the party. So I'm gonna kind of give you an overview of what I have, where the drinks are going to be set up, and then we'll just see where this day takes us, if I will prepare anything or not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the antipasto skewers tonight or if I'll just do them tomorrow because um, I have all day tomorrow and I don't think I need to go to the store. I have my daughter is going to be picking up the food at five o'clock tomorrow. The party doesn't start till six, so my daughter will be picking up the food. Um, so I think I have everything that I need unless there's some last minute thing that I have to run out and get, but for the most part, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm going to kind of just see where the rest of the day takes us. I will show you any other prep that I do and then we'll- Good morning, you guys. It is party day. Don't mind this. All I did was take a shower. I have put no makeup on, haven't done my hair yet. I just wanted to get the shower out of the way, let my hair mostly air dry. And then later after I get everything all set up, I will get ready. So anyways, we're gonna get started with making the tortellini skewers and the um, sangria and then the spinach artichoke dip will go in about two hours before the party starts so i will show you prepping you know me prepping all of that also and then i'll try to get you some clips as i'm setting up through the day and also um how everything like looks at the very end right before everybody comes and i'll try to get some clips of the party it's just not everybody loves to be on camera which i totally understand so if i can get some clips i will if you watched my party last year prep and everything you saw my husband i don't know if you guys have seen the movie christmas vacation i mean i feel like everybody in the world has seen it that is like our favorite movie and last year he had the robe that um cousin eddie had with the hat and all that that was his out uh, his outfit last year at the christmas party so we have another variation of cousin eddie this year so i'm going to put the picture of last year up there and then at the end i'll show you what he looks like this year and i'll try to show you what my sweater and my daughter's sweater my one one of my daughters is away so she's not at the party but um my one daughter is here so yeah let's just get started with this day and hopefully by the end of the video i will look better than this now i'm going to make the antipasto skewers because i can wrap these up and put them in the refrigerator they're served cold so i have tortellini the fresh mozzarella balls uh, cherry you can use grape or cherry tomatoes i have cherry tomatoes pesto that i got from sam's club these are the skewers i'm using I got those on Amazon. I can link those down below. Pepperoni. I'm going to do half with pepperoni, half without pepperoni, and fresh basil leaves. So we're just going to cook the pasta. I think it cooks in like two minutes, two or three minutes. Cook that, let that cool, add some pesto to it, and then we'll start putting them on the skewers. And then I'll put pesto on this side to serve it with. Okay, you guys, here these are my husband. Well, we call him the official taste tester because he <laughs> tastes everything. But I have them all on this platter wrapped up really tight with um, 
saran wrap and I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. I have a side dish of pesto that I will serve with it if anybody wants to add any extra. My husband said these were absolutely delicious and they took the longest part, obviously, is putting everything on the skewers. I mean, the tortellini cooked in four minutes and then it's just putting everything on the skewers and that was it, super easy. And I like that you can make these ahead of time because they can be served warm or cold. So I'll just be serving them cold. So very easy, highly recommend appetizer for a holiday party or get together. Okay, so now we're gonna put together the sangria. So we are going to use a cup of cranberries, a quarter cup of vodka, a dry white wine. This is my absolute favorite. So this is Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, but whatever dry Dry white wine you like, they say Chardonnay, whatever you like. A quarter cup of pomegranate seeds. I'm gonna thinly slice a Granny Smith apple and thinly slice a lime. I'm gonna use my cool little tilted pitcher. I'm gonna put all of this in and then at the end, I forgot to show, but I'll show you when I do it, I'm going to add a uh, bottle of Prosecco on top. This is my sister, Teresa. She's so used to being on a camera. <laughs> hey, you look at it, cut. <laughs> All right, we're making the spinach artichoke dip. So Teresa's just chopping the chokes. <laughs> all right. Go and we're gonna put it all in the crock pot, and then that's it. Yeah, put those in, and then we'll Literally everything just goes right in the crock pot. So we're roughly chopping the two cans of artichokes, because we're doubling this recipe. And what else do we have? Cream cheese, Parmesan cheese. Why aren't you looking at the camera? Sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sour cream, spinach, spinach, mozzarella, and that's it. Minced garlic. We gotta get minced garlic and salt and pepper. Well, I'm gonna put the recipe in the thing, but we're gonna take two blocks of cream cheese and we're just gonna cut them up and add it in. I added, well, kinda like four cloves of garlic, I don't know. We just <laughs> added a, a bunch lot of, of garlic. garlic. <laughs> We're doing this entire 16 ounce container of sour cream. Yeah, 
Yeah. Two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Now we gotta start. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you guys, the party is all done. It was a success. I think there was about 28 people here. We had a great time. We had a ton of food, so we have a lot left over, but that's okay. I don't have to cook dinner for a few days. And then I was even given the sweetest hostess gift. Look at these dish sponges. So I did take one off so you could see them. Oh my gosh, so cute. So I think they're gonna look adorable in my little snowman sponge holder. And then I was given these beautiful napkins. And then I love these Andy's Peppermint Crunch Twists or Thins, I love those. And then these are those washcloths. So as soon as you get it wet, it turns into a kitchen washcloth and then you can wash them and reuse them. So that was so sweet. But anyways, we had such a great time. Like I said, we have a ton of food, but it was just another successful ugly sweater party. I did not get clips of everything. <laughs> that when it was all set up because it always just gets so chaotic in the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe gave you a little bit of appetizer recipes for some upcoming holiday get togethers that you have. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.